I would like to begin this video with reminding you to think of the victims, Marjorie Taylor Green and James Comer, who tonight are going through their own personal Vietnam. Statement from President Joe Biden. Today, I signed a pardon for my son, Hunter. From the day I took office, I said I would not interfere with the Justice Department's decision making, and I kept my word, even as I have watched my son being selectively and unfairly prosecuted. Without aggravating factors like use in a crime, multiple purchases, or buying a weapon as a straw purchaser, people are almost never brought to trial on felony charges solely for how they filled out a gun form. Those who were late paying their taxes because of serious addictions, but paid them back subsequently with interest and penalties, are typically given non-criminal resolutions. It is clear that Hunter was treated differently. The charges in this case came about only after several of my political opponents in Congress instigated them to attack me and oppose my election. Then a carefully negotiated plea deal, agreed to by the Department of Justice, unraveled in the courtroom, with a number of my political opponents in Congress taking credit for bringing political pressure on the process. Had the plea deal held, it would have been fair, reasonable resolution of Hunter's cases. No reasonable person who looks at the facts of Hunter's cases can reach any other conclusion than Hunter was singled out only because he is my son. And that is wrong. There has been an effort to break Hunter, who has been five and a half years sober, even in the face of unrelenting attacks and selective prosecution. In trying to break Hunter, they've tried to break me. And there's no reason to believe it will stop here. Enough is enough. For my entire career, I have followed a simple principle. Just tell the American people the truth. They'll be fair-minded. Here's the truth. I believe in the justice system, but as I have wrestled with this, I also believe raw politics has infected this process and it led to a miscarriage of justice and once I made this decision this weekend, there was no sense in delaying it further. I hope Americans will understand why a father and a president would come to this decision. Executive Grant of Clemency, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States. And we have the actual pardon as well. To all to whom these presents shall come greetings. Be it known that this day I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States, pursuant to my powers under Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1 of the Constitution have granted unto Robert Hunter Biden a full and unconditional pardon for those offenses against the United States which he has committed or may have committed or taken part in during the period from January 1st, 2014 through December 1st, 2024, including, but not limited to all offenses charged or prosecuted, including any that have resulted in convictions by Special Counsel David C. Weiss in docket number 1-23-CR-00061-MN in the United States District Court for the District of Delaware and docket number 2-23-CR-0 0599-MCS1 in the United States District Court for the Central District of California. In testimony whereof I have hereunto signed my name and caused the pardon to be recorded with the Department of Justice, done at the City of Washington this first day of December in the year of our Lord, 2024, and of the independence of the United States the 249th. Now, I'm not joking when I said this is Marjorie Taylor Greene and James Comer's personal Vietnam. They are essentially going through a 9-11 of their own making. 
They have made this their entire existence. Comer, he is just always talking about Hunter Biden. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, if you didn't know, is so obsessed with Hunter Biden's penis, she has blown up photos of the man naked that she keeps in her office at all times to show to the House whenever she gets a chance. If you you have a child that was in school and they ever watched the House of Representatives, there is a chance that Hunter Biden, naked, was on their screen at tel- at school. This is all they have. Now, MAGA, upset. Democrats, some of them are upset for a couple reasons. Some think that he shouldn't have pardoned him. Some think that he should have pardoned him sooner, and it might have actually helped him in the election. The Democrats might have won if he pardoned him sooner. Show some fight back, which is something a lot of people wanted out of the Democrats. Speaking of that, Joe Biden was found with a book this weekend, holding it after he purchased it with Hunter Biden, and the book details crimes committed by Israel in Gaza. Again, people said, why didn't this happen? Before the election, it might have changed the results. But why would MAGA be upset? Well, again, it's split. Some don't like the fact that Hunter Biden was pardoned. Obviously. But there's also the J6 group. And you might think that the J6 defendants would be celebrating this pardon. But they actually aren't. All of them. There's a split. Some are, some aren't. Now, some of them are celebrating it, saying this makes it so easy for all of us to get pardons. Now we're all going to get a blanket pardon, or they hope they are. The others don't think this helps them get a pardon, and they are now worried, what if Joe Biden pardons, for example, every officer involved defending the Capitol? Every official involved in getting different people there to defend the Capitol? What if they all get a pardon by Joe Biden? Well, even if Trump pardons all the J6ers, if they want to try to sue, that could absolutely destroy that. And of course, some of them are going, is he going to pardon Black Lives Matter? Is he going to pardon Antifa? And I will say, no matter what side you're on, the funniest thing I saw today came from Marjorie Taylor Greene where Marjorie Taylor Greene put out a tweet essentially saying, Joe Biden has pardoned Hunter, but who is going to pardon Joe? Obviously, she's going to try to get Joe Biden. I don't know. She also showed his brother naked. Are there any naked Joe Biden photos she can blow up? But anyway, the answer, Marjorie, 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 Marjorie. The answer for who is going to pardon Joe is nobody. Because nobody needs to pardon Joe Biden. Because the Supreme Court picks, brought in by Donald Trump, because of them, everything he did while president is okay. You have nothing. They played themselves. They played themselves. It's really, really funny. And telling, I have to say, when I went to the J6ers that I thought would be celebrating this as making it easier for them to get pardons, so many of them aren't celebrating and are freaking out because they don't think this means they're more likely to get a pardon. They think this means other people they hate might get pardoned. Very divisive decision by Joe Biden in a lot of different ways. And a lot of people are angry and a lot of people are happy. But this is the information that we have. It's out there. And this might signal there could be more to come. Is this the start of Joe Biden taking an extreme amount of action. Will he possibly, let's throw this out there, issue a federal pardon 
to every person who came to America illegally? Could he do some style of pardon that could, at the very least, disrupt the Trump administration deportation plans? Because a lot of Democrats believe that with tariffs and things like that coming from the Trump administration, that they will win in two years. Is Joe Biden's game going to be delaying enough that Democrats can take control again? We shall see.